Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today our topic is hypothyroidism. So this video will cover the causes of hypothyroidism, the symptoms, and the treatment. So let's get started. So hypothyroidism is a medical condition in which the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough thyroid hormone to meet the body's needs. The thyroid gland is a small butterfly-shaped gland located in the neck that produces hormones that regulate the body's metabolism or the rate at which the body uses energy. When the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough thyroid hormone, it can slow down many of the body's functions, leading to a variety of symptoms. These may include fatigue, weight gain, depression, dry skin, hair loss, or even constipation, and menstrual irregularities in females. Hypothyroidism can be caused by several factors including autoimmune diseases, radiation therapy, surgery, and certain medications. It can also occur as a result of iodine deficiency, a condition in which the body doesn't get enough iodine, which is required to produce thyroid hormone. Hypothyroidism can be diagnosed through a blood test that measures the levels of thyroid hormones in the body. Treatment for hypothyroidism usually involves taking a synthetic form of thyroid hormone which replaces the missing hormone and helps to alleviate symptoms. With proper treatment, most people with hypothyroidism can lead normal, healthy lives. There are several causes of hypothyroidism. The most common cause is an autoimmune disorder called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, in which the body's immune system attacks the thyroid gland, leading to inflammation and damage. Other potential causes of hypothyroidism include treatment for hyperthyroidism. If someone has hyperthyroidism, that is an overactive thyroid gland and is treated with radioactive iodine therapy or anti-thyroid drugs, the treatment can cause the thyroid gland to produce too little thyroid hormone leading to hypothyroidism. Next we have is radiation therapy. Now radiation therapy for cancer in the head or neck can damage the thyroid gland and lead to hypothyroidism. Third is thyroid surgery. If someone has surgery to remove all or part of their thyroid gland, the remaining thyroid tissue may not produce enough thyroid hormone to meet the body's needs. Congenital hypothyroidism is the fourth cause. Some newborns are born with an underactive thyroid gland, which can be caused by a problem with the development of the thyroid gland or a genetic disorder. Medications. Certain medications such as lithium and interferon Alpha can interfere with thyroid hormone production and lead to hypothyroidism. Iodine deficiency. Now, iodine is an essential nutrient required for the production of thyroid hormone. A deficiency of iodine in the diet can lead to hypothyroidism. In some cases, the cause of hypothyroidism may be unknown. It's important to ident identify the underlying cause of hypothyroidism so that it can be properly treated. So the symptoms of hypothyroidism can vary widely from person to person and may develop slowly over time. Some common symptoms of hypothyroidism include fatigue and weakness. People with hypothyroidism often feel tired and sluggish even after getting enough sleep. Weight gain. Hypothyroidism can cause weight gain even if someone is eating a healthy diet and exercising regularly. Depression and anxiety. Low levels of thyroid hormone can affect mood and lead to feelings of depression and anxiety. Dry skin and hair. Hypothyroidism can cause dry skin and hair as well as brittle nails. Cold intolerance. People with hypothyroidism may feel cold all the time, even in warm weather. Constipation. Hypothyroidism can also slow down digestion and lead to constipation. Menstrual irregularities. Hypothyroidism can cause changes in menstrual periods, including heavy or irregular periods. Muscle and joint pain. Hypothyroidism can cause muscle and joint pain as well as stiffness and weakness. Memory problems. Hypothyroidism can affect cognitive function and lead to memory problems. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to see a healthcare provider for a proper diagnosis and treatment. While these symptoms can be caused by other conditions as well, hypothyroidism is a very common cause and can be easily diagnosed with a blood test to measure the level of thyroid hormone in the blood. So the most common treatment for hypothyroidism is hormone replacement therapy, which, which involves taking a synthetic form of thyroid hormone called levothyroxine. Levothyroxine is taken orally typically once a day and works by replacing the missing thyroid hormone in the body. The dosage of levothyroxine is individualized based on the person's age, weight, and severity of hypothyroidism, as well as other factors, such as pregnancy and other medications being taken. It's important to take the medication as prescribed and not to discontinue it without consulting a healthcare provider. 
After starting thyroid hormone replacement therapy, it may take a few weeks to, to few months to see improvements in symptoms. Regular follow-up visits with the healthcare provider are necessary to monitor thyroid hormone levels and adjust the dosage of medication as needed. In addition to medication, there are lifestyle changes that can help manage hypothyroidism. First off, a healthy diet, regular exercise, and stress reduction techniques. It's also important to discuss any other medications or supplements being taken with a healthcare provider as they can interfere with the levothyroxine absorption and effectiveness. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to remove a large goiter or a cancerous thyroid gland. However, this is less common and is typically reserved for cases where medication is not effective or appropriate. Overall, with proper treatment and management, most people with hypothyroidism can lead normal, healthy lives.